Welcome to this series where we are building up a transport empire in Transport Fever 2. In the last part, the focus was very much down around Polegate, where we put in this kind of dual fuel supply system. So we got one fuel refinery supplying South End on sea, and eventually it will supply fuel to Leon Sea. And we've also got fuel coming to Polegate here. And there is now a train link that's taking fuel up to Bury St. Edmunds. See, we're getting a lot of fuel in there now if you watched the previous video you would be aware that i put a dedicated train on this line to carry fuel and to be honest it didn't work very well and all the line i mean it carried the fuel but the line lost money so what i've actually done is i've changed the trains now so it's just like a 50 50 split carrying machines in one direction fuel in the other side and it's still losing money but it's I think it will get there eventually as it starts to carry more and more uh, items I mean we've got quite a lot of fuel in this area here whoops no. we got a little bit of fuel in there but I think I'm quite happy for this line to lose a little bit of money what I want to do in this part is actually work on the food production area up around Hornsey but first thing I want to do here though is I want to put some signals in because I want to double the the trains up so what we're going to do is just put signals in gonna make sure they're going the right way and uh, we can think we can get another one oops this side please and just going to but I, I mean we're only gonna have two trains on here so I don't need to put too many signals in here right we've got three new vehicles looks like we got a bus a hover vehicle hovercraft the HC SRN6 there was a truck there as well which disappeared a little bit too quickly so what we got here we got this line coming into here and this line coming out there and I suppose what I better do is do the up line on this side as well while I'm at it this is the up line here just put some signals in here like this There, there. We've got this massive tunnel underneath the mountain. And I think you can just stop there. And what I should be able to do now is we get this line here. Come in here, come here, and then what I'm just going to do is clone this. coming to self in fuel and clone this one as well and then we're just gonna let them run and they should make a lots of cash this is the area I want to work on in this part because this is going to be a food hub because you can see we're now on February 1970 when we get to 1990 there was gonna be a greater demand for food around here I don't think Woola, Woola needs food just yet and I don't think that also applies to Normanton but in 1990 these will need food and therefore we need to get this food hub running a lot more efficiently and what I want to do is use trucks for that process and talking about trucks and that let's have a look at what we managed to get in that thing if I can find a truck depot there it is there so we got ourselves a new passenger that's the man that does 80 kilometers an hour I think I might have a use for that and what I'm more interested in is the truck that I missed here which is the Peterbilt 359 that's 80 kilometers carries 25 cargo 1970 to 2020 that could be very useful because it's also got a, two, a, a good loading speed as well so that's gonna be the first of my long distance type trucks which we will be able to do yeah I think I can use that because what I'm thinking is coffee and fish into here but we're going to use roads over close to rail so we got that new bus line as part of me says maybe it's time to upgrade this road here and what we're going to do is just upgrade you here and what I wouldn't mind is a little bit of a bus line here. Here. And we 
we've got this road coming out here, so if I come here and put this in here, and we, oops, uh, I don't want to put a tunnel in, actually just have a quick look, where is the industry in, and the industry is on this side of the town, so what we could do is just put a road in here, we can just come out and connect like that. I mean, there's a kind of tram area here. I mean, the trams, we've got a double tram stop here. We've got some pretty tatty trams as well. Oh. I mean, this is an interesting thing. If, if, if you're actually, if we hook him and follow him, what you'll see is when it looks dirty and rusty like that, that means they are in very bad condition. Which means it's about time I upgraded my trams, but I was half hoping for a new tram before I did that. Anyway, back to I think what we're gonna do is put in a dedicated bus stop about here. And then we're gonna come over here. Ah. This is gonna be interesting. Because <laughs> don't really want to put the bus stop there. What I would like to do is put the... I think we're coming with urban streets here. This is uh, 50 kilometers an hour. This is 60. Maybe if we come in here, put a 60 mile an hour road there. And maybe it's about time I put a, a bus route into here as well, or tram route. That's still a little bit residential. Um, if we come out here and just do that. Actually, what I could do is just run the. So this is this commercial. So what I could do here is. I'm just going to run you out here like that. Rather than just have one stop for the whole area, we put in a, a view in there, another one in about there, another one there, and Another one about there, and another one about there. And what we'll do is we'll start here, create a new line. You can come around here like that. And then we're going to run all the way over to wherever you're called. I remember what you're called now. And then you can come all the way back again. So what we've got is a nice neat little bus route running round here. Anything I don't like is that, but never mind. We'll, we'll, fi we'll fix it. I mean, it's not going to be a uh, public bus 70 and we'll call you uh, I think this is Buesley to um, I can't remember what um, yeah Petherton I've lost the route can't find it oh there's one way to find it Usually to us, <laughs> public bus 70, and we'll call, we'll call you Butley. Viewed, Actually, call you the Peverton Express. That might work better. Um, 
and we need some vehicles on this now. So we're just going to come in here, and what we're going to do is build, get, get about six of these running, and we're going to put you on the EB70 the Pavleton Express. Okay, I can't spell today. I don't know what's up with me. Oops, nope. So we're going to call you the Pavleton Express. But that is done. That should give. What that should do is have the effect of making this. Yeah, once people get into here, this will give uh, Buesley a a bus line and some input. So what we need to do now is start to work on this area here. And what I want to do is run a road down to the factory here, which is going to turn the fish into meat. So what we're going to need to do is just take out this line here, this road. I think increasingly what I'm going to be doing is removing roads which aren't for any particular great use, to be honest. So we're just going to do this. Now, now what we're going to do road-wise is we're going to go rural, but what I'm going to is, is this 100 kilometer road. And I think what we're going to need to do is just get over here first with a bridge. Oops, wrong way. Just got that way. And what we're going to need to do is get a, a pretty good bridge over here. I think we'll go concrete bridge like this. Is you so there like that? I don't do you quite that low. This is going to be quite a spectacular bridge. And then we're going to run you down here, and we're going to. I mean, I could run this into here like this. And we're going to have traffic lights, but I've, I know how to fix traffic lights now. So, we do here. You can see here, this junction has now got traffic lights. Now, there is a kind of hidden feature here, which can help you get rid of traffic lights. What you need to do is find It's this one here, roads. What you will see here is a little symbol to this toggle off traffic lights. What that will do is that will remove that traffic lights from that junction there. We got a nice high speed road here. Right across to here. And what I will say on, on the subject of traffic lights, what I will say is if any of you have been screaming at me saying how to do that. Apologies if I haven't responded, but as I've said with this series, I, because of time pressures, I am recording this ahead. In fact, I'm about five parts ahead of the where I'm releasing stuff at the moment. Yeah, so apologies for that. If you have been screaming at me about how to remove traffic lights and think items like that. So if I just sort of put in a, a little bit more of a cargo capacity here. And what I'm going to do is just put a, put a street axis off the back here. And then what I'll do is just hook this through here. Of course, again, we're going to have to give it these traffic lights. I hate traffic lights. So what I sh we should be able to do now is put a route in here. call you Beaudly Fish. Yeah. Of course, this terminal... Oops. I'm going to call you, just call you Beaudly Fish. And then 
what we're going to do is get some of these Peterbilt trucks in here. It's the nearest truck depot down here. And cargo, I really like the idea of these, especially as they do 80 kilometers an hour, because I think, oh, no, the issue trucks also do 80 kilometers an hour. So we're going to about five of these on UP fish. <coughs> I actually didn't timestamp that route, so let me just do that while I remember. Let's just go to this one, it'd be easier to untangle it. Fish. This is on uh, rural 71. We've now got this running. Fish is probably going to build up quite quickly here, so what we will do is just extend this from the get go. And what I have is a nice high speed road running through here. Now, the next thing I need to do is get this coffee farm into production, but we don't actually have a, a coffee, what we call it here, a coffee factory. I think the nearest one we've got is right down over here. Coffee refinery. I don't really want to drag vehicles all the way down here. I want this to be fairly tight. It's what I would, wouldn't mind if demand grows, we'll put a coffee plantation in here. And my instinct is to put the... I don't want it too close to this because I want a little bit of a road running here. I mean, we, let's just get rid of this road as well, we don't really need it. Just drag you out here. I mean we could put a, a coffee factory here. Trouble then is we'll be getting under this line here. I mean we got we've got a coffee farm up here haven't we? We got coffee there so we could bring maybe there's scope to actually we could extend this road up through here and then we could and then that road could join through to there so we could bring coffee down to a coffee factory located about here yeah I think that will work I'm just gonna find uh, find the coffee factory Yep. And I think if we slip you in about there. Oh, the auto save's just going through. Just wait for the auto save. Hopefully the factory will appear. I don't want to try and place another one. There it is. Thank you, game. It can be a little bit disconcerting sometimes, actually, this. get rid of you and what we're gonna do is just put in a that not connect will it take a single track right It's across here then. Interesting. Uh, bring you here. Bring you out that way. And we're going to extend you to. little bit south of that. I'm a bit worried about breaking this link here based on what's happened here. I mean, we're gonna need this to run to here anyway. 
thing. And I suppose you're going to need to go. And I could build a, a super viaduct. Yeah, but. Maybe we'll just go up. I'll do that. you under there oh. then like that so we'll just we'll just push it down one layer there we'll bring it back a little bit though Let's say about here oops no nope. Run you through to there, and then what we will do is have a, a little bit of a get rid of the traffic light type of session. Get rid of you get rid of you and you. So what we're going to do now is just put in. This will work. Whoops. Ah. Drop this in here. I don't want this connected to the factory. So, what we'll do is we'll just drop this in about here with respect to here. And then that means that the coal, we can ship coal from here if necessary. What we could do is ship coal up to here. Should we ever start to get this coal, these. This coal mine here being overloaded, I don't think it's an issue just at the moment. Oh, yeah, we've got so much coal here. It's probably could do with some extra ships on this line, actually. Uh, yeah, you're only carrying 175. Let me just take a look at this. Um, let's replace. If we replace you with all cargo, so you can carry 220. As opposed to 175, and you're actually marginally faster. I think we're just going to go for that and just upgrade this line completely. And actually, that's the fuel situation. I mean, the crude oil is looking good. I think that will work. And what we'll do is we'll just drop it. Pick up point here, but the how far away can I get you? So you can get to about here. Coffee. Oops. What we'll do is we'll put a line from here to here. Cannot connect all stations. So why can't you connect? there what's up the problem oh the road's gone yep that should make everybody happy Line is there. So we'll call you CR Rural. Oops. CR Rural 71. Uh, call you Horn Z. Uh, coffee beans. But I know you can tell the difference. Coffee. 
arm. So we've now got that area there. Because what we're going to do is get some trucks on this. Not the route isn't that long, so I think we could probably just put in about four of these. Two, three, four. And we're just going to. assign you to Hornsey Coffee Beans. Of course what we're going to need to do now is ship some the output of here to here and this is going to be a nice little short Oops. and this is going to be a nice little short. Oh we got a new train. Let's look at that. And we're going to come to here and you're going to be see our 71 rural um, we'll call you Hornsey. On ground. Copy. We've got this little route running here. I think for this one, I don't think we need the big trucks. And what we could probably do is use these little. I mean, they still do 80 kilometers an hour. They carry 14, and we'll get about five on here. Um, we'll just assign you to Hornsey Ground Coffee. And what that will do is these little trucks will uh, bring the ground coffee into here, which will then sort this. Uh, food farm section out now one thing I I do want to look at uh, you're bringing in the fish piles of fish here maybe we're gonna have to extend this again oh, how much fish does this produce this is only 300, but... Oh, he's going around for another go. Probably because I changed the layout of the, uh, the station. See what type of speed you are maintaining here on this grade. Well, he's... <coughs> Oops, did a bit of a kink there as he went around the corner. Yeah, he's doing 80 kilometers an hour. I mean, this isn't going to be the busiest road, but what we could do is open this road up now for a bus service between here and here as well. So what we could do is do, I mean, Hornsey is growing out this way. So, so what we could do here is, well, a little bit of a ring road around here like this and reconnect you in like this and then what we can do is put a so it doesn't put the traffic lights back in thank you game And what we can do then is maybe extend this out eventually to form, provide another bus link usually. I think that will work. Or well, we could actually do a tram route through here actually. But then that might slow down the trucks. Yeah, that's a point. Anyway, let's just have a look at the new train that's arrived. I'm really looking for a good all-purpose hauler for cargo. I mean, I haven't really been able to settle on one just for the moment. The new one's a diesel, so that's that's pretty powerful actually. It's 105 top speed power, tractive effort 410. This one's more powerful, but it's it's got less tractive effort. And the downside with this is that because it's only got a top speed of 105. It won't meet the 
it won't pull the trucks that are capable of 120. So that's a potential issue. Now, I'm aware time is pushing on, but there's one thing I do want to fix, and that's down here. I was looking at this route just before I started. I think it's Hornsey Meat. This line isn't particularly that efficient, to be honest. And as this gets more and more meat into it, so what I want to do is I'm going to come here. And what I'm going to do is remove Manor Road from here. So that this, the trucks on this line are just feeding here. And then what I want to do then is I'm going to put another line in here. From, from here to here. And we can see our 72 now. Pound. Uh, Z. And we call this rail food. And I think I'm actually going to put a, a truck depot up here. When we got lots of vehicles and stuff going on here so i can't see why we can't put a depot in here and what i'm looking now for is a truck I and mean, we could go with that but I, I, I mean this is 80 this is 14 this is 80 this carries 17 tarpaulin truck but this one doesn't carry food uh, I mean, that's a nice one but it's a dump truck this one carries 16 at 60 miles an hour it's a cheaper truck as well so again it comes down to cost as well i think we'll go with the studebaker because he's carrying food and we're going to put about uh, start with five, six i'll uh, stay with six sometimes what you've got to do is just balance the carry capacity against the speed against the cost this is a very short line so there's no point in putting an expensive truck on here to start with so let's have a look here I don't wonder whether maybe we need to I think we're gonna put some phone in some extra ones here Get eight vehicles on here. Really start to pull the fish in. So we've got the livestock coming in here with the fish. Hopefully this will increase the demand and start to bring in more goods into here. And well, we've got a lot of pickups here. Although two are delivery. Uh, there's a lot of trucks here kind of clogging everything up here. I think maybe I'm just gonna put some extra cargo capacity in here. I think if we put in this here and I'll put a fourth one in. How's that go? Okay. And then again, I think what we're going to do is just put in a delivery here. And what we're going to do is change Hornsey coffee. And we're going to get rid of and that as the station. Take out Hornsey food. That should kind of sort things out a little bit now because we've got these trucks coming down here, delivering here. They're not going into there. We've got this slightly eccentric route here, but I think that will that will work anyway. They will come round here and back up that way. That's not that much further in this way. <laughs> I mean, I could fix it, but. Actually, what I could do 
I just want to do an experiment. I'm aware time is pushing on. I haven't never done this before. What I'll do is put off a one way street back the other way. How close can I get this? Interesting, that actually connects through. Okay, what we could do is put one way street that way. That changed the route now. Yes, it has. It'd be nice to put a roundabout in here, but I'm not too sure whether you can actually build roundabouts in this. I've got traffic lights there. This game is a little bit eccentric from this point of view, so I'm just going to get rid of you. I don't want the you. And so what we'll have is this will stop them going down around here. Actually, what is the speed of this? 30 miles an hour. I'll come off it. Okay. Get rid of you. And I'm gonna go. Okay. I'll put you. Actually, let's just put you that way. And then connect you back into that way. I know this may seem a little bit messy, but I haven't really done anything with one way roads in this game so far, so maybe just do exploring this a little bit at this point before I start making too big and expensive mistakes. So, I mean, how these trucks seem to be moving very slowly. Let's just have a look at them. Right, what are they? We've got 16 vehicles on here. Uh, maybe if we get rid of about, say, four of them. What are these? These are bends. Wow, they're really old. Uh, I think we're. I mean, these are right up here. I don't think I've even got bends on the system anymore. Wow, there's some very old trucks on here. Okay. Uh, What we're going to do is replace all these with the Studebakers. No, actually. Oh, you're, you're shifting. Yeah, you're shipping meat, aren't you? Actually, no, let's just. Let's go with the. The Man 19s. Ah, that's a bit better. There. Cracking along a little bit now. Hornsey grain and meat. Right. You're just dropping off here. So why is my. Oh, you're going out that way anyway, so. Right, I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, I've got absolutely no idea what we're doing. In fact, what I'll probably do is come back and review this area here and keep everything moving forward we'll just keep get the food production really starting to run we're getting some stored meat now coming in so what we're going to need to do is try and push up the demand a little bit now or get things running but this is where i'm going to leave it until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming <laughs>